Knowing the basics of aerodynamic will help you understand why your kite might front stall or back stall. My name is Petr Pavlovich, I love sharing my kites of experience with you and in this episode we will talk about the basics of the kite aerodynamic. For any object to fly we need airflow and it's preferable for the object to have smoother shape and to be symmetrical or asymmetrical. Today we will be talking about asymmetrical objects as it is how the kites are designed. When the airflow is passing over a kite, there are multiple forces that are helping the kite to fly properly. Today we will focus on the lift and drag. The lift should always be greater than the drag. It's the force created by the friction on the surface of the kite. The drag is in the same direction as the airflow. When the wind is blowing on the leading edge of a kite, it splits in two layers, one going below the kite and the other one going above the kite. Because of the curved shape of the kite, the airflow above the kite will accelerate, so it will be less pressure. Below the kite, where the airflow is traveling slower, it will create more pressure. The lift is created by pushing the kite from high to low pressure, which is perpendicular to the airflow. By pulling or depowering the bar, we are changing the angle of attack. So when we pull the bar, as the canopy above the kite gets more carved, there is a faster acceleration of the airflow, so it will create more lift. When we completely depower the bar, the canopy above the kite is quite flat, so it creates just enough lift for the kite to fly and for it to be stable. The ideal angle of attack for the kite to fly properly is around 5 degrees to 20 degrees. If there is not enough angle of attack or there is a huge increase of angle of attack, this will make your kite front stall or back stall. When the back lines are too long, so when the front lines are too short, this can cause the trailing edge to get higher than the leading edge, so it will decrease dramatically the lift and the kite will just fall from the sky. If we change drastically the angle of attack, so if we pull on the back lines too much, the drag will be equal or even become greater than the lift, which will cause the kite to backstall. It's important to have your bar line symmetrical, so while depowering or pulling the bar, it doesn't cause the kite to front stall or back stall. Check out my next episode where you can see how to perform a trim check once you launched your kite.